In the last couple of videos, we've talked about opacity and gradients, and we're actually going to combine those two in this lecture. So we're going to create a neat effect where we're using both transparency and we're using gradients. So you can see here, I've created just a very simple div. We just have a box here, and that's where we're going to create this nice effect that will contain opacity and a gradient. We can close this out because we need a little bit more room here, a little bit more space. So uh, yeah, we'll save this. And then let's just uh, go ahead and drag this over here. Let's close this out and give us a little more space to uh, operate here. Now you'll notice that we're using some of the same code from the last lecture. We're going to go ahead and use the background property and we're going to use this linear gradient function. That has not changed and we're also going to keep the default color of blue which you can see right here if nothing is in our linear gradient background. And of course nothing is right now so that's why it's defaulting to blue. Now we don't actually have to use the opacity property here. We can just use this RGBA color value. And I'll explain where we put the opacity parameter in a minute. But basically this stands for red, green, blue, and alpha. And it is actually this fourth spot right here, which contains the alpha parameter. Now that just means opacity. That's basically where we're going to specify the opacity that we want. And it's the same that we talked about a few videos ago. It's 0.0 to 1.0. And remember, 0.0 is fully transparent. And basically, 1.0 has no transparency. You'll see the color 100%. And you will also remember when we talked about RGB way back when I did that video on colors. And you'll remember there was a red value that we put in a green value that we would put right here and a blue value and we're going to do that here and again this fourth spot right here is basically where we want to specify our opacity and remember we want two colors working against each other that's why we have both of these functions right here this rgba because we want that gradient effect but we are also going to add the opacity again in this fourth spot so let's go ahead and fill these in and the first rgb value that we want to create is blue so that is 255, 255, and 0. And here again is where we specify our opacity. And in this case, we're just going to make this 0.0. .0. So this will be completely transparent. And now we want to go ahead and add yellow. So it's actually 0, 0, and 255. That will give us pure yellow. And if you actually look that RGB value up, that's what it would be if you went out to Google or something. And let's go ahead and give this a complete value of 1. So we'll give this the highest setting. And let's go ahead and save this now. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see. And you know what? I'm sorry. I This was actually blue and this is yellow. I actually messed that up. Sorry. When I wrote my notes down here, I got these two switched. So again, this is yellow. Now you'll notice that this color is first. And of course, remember, it goes in a top-down order, just like we talked about in the last video with gradients. So this will be on the top. And again, because we made this completely transparent, nothing will show here. That's why we don't see any yellow. But as the gradient goes down farther, it becomes completely blue. So let's go ahead and let's actually add a little bit of yellow to this now. So let's actually set this to 0.3. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh it. Now you can see some of that yellow is now coming through. It's not completely transparent. So I think you get a good idea how that works. And look, now we're using everything. We're combining opacity, gradients, all in one nice, neat little effect here. Now, as we were doing in the last video, you can actually start switching these directions up. So uh, remember we did that to right. So let's go ahead and put in to right. And we'll go ahead and save this. We'll hit refresh, and there you can see. So that is how this works. I will see you guys in the next video.